Hello everybody, it is Wednesday here in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we are on a hunt right now to go see the Little Mermaid statue. So that's what we're going to do, is we're going to go find the Little Mermaid statue. We have a, one of the cathedrals out there, and we're headed out over this way to the ocean. So come along for the venture. I'm walking by the fortress, the church outside the fortress. In there is the first moat line for the fortress. Maybe when I walk around I'll get a better view of it. But it's pretty impenetrable. Um, it's interesting. The fortress was not the king and queen's home. It is the defensive line where in the 1700s they would retreat to when there was war and they would live there temporarily lots of brick here and so they would retreat there temporarily while the war was going on and then they would move back to the Amaliaborg palace later when the coast was clear a little Swedish church here not open right now but gotta love that view from here if I zoom in you can see the windmill on the fortress by the moat and cool love these roads here. These roads are awesome. I'm by the other side of the fortress. You just gotta check this out. Isn't that the coolest bridge ever? You got the city wall gate for the fortress and then the cool little quaint houses on the other side. It's just pretty awesome. Love it. Apartments. They're from the 1800s. That's awesome. Into a pretty cool um, monument here. It says it's the Sofart Monument. I think it's dedicated to a war with Sweden that was in like the 1700s. Not exactly sure. Well, they say the early bird gets the worm. In this case, it's the statue. If you're here at 7, 6 a.m., I think it's like maybe at 6 a.m., there's plenty of light in Denmark, and there's nobody here um, to so be The Little Mermaid statue is interesting because it was built in the... 1900s early 1900s I think it was 1909 and it was donated by the CEO of a brewing company and if the neck looks a little bit off which it does here there's a reason for that and the reason for that is the model who did the model for the body was the sculptor's wife and then the head was a model for the sculpture because the model didn't want to pose nude. But the wife, I guess, was okay with it. Also interesting is the head has been chopped off like three times already um, by different vandals, but they put it back. And there's actually lots of these statues along the way. If I go over this way, all along this walk, there's actually lots of statues. This is not the only statue. But this one was made famous because in the 60s, Denmark used it for an advertising campaign in which Danny Kaye sung a song about Denmark. So that's why this one became so famous, this statue. Ice cream shop it sells ice cream now, but it's a shack and it used to sell marijuana um we are on the outskirts of christiani here but that's one of the leftover marijuana shacks that has turned now into an ice cream shop pretty view crossing over the bridge here and you can see over into the town over the town walls so that was my short walk to go see the statue my biggest tip is go early and you can get it all to yourself